Okay, today we're going to be talking about some of the changes I did on the Aprilia Touareg on the sprockets. Yes, on the sprockets. We've uh, I went from 15 tooth to a 16 tooth. You may see another video I did where I went 17. That was a little uh, when I had, especially when I had luggage or anything on here. Took my little girl for a little ride. <laughs> a little steep for this bike, so I found a sweet spot because I'm 260 pounds, and uh, I went with a from a the 17 back down to a 16. I had a 15 tooth, well, originally 15 tooth, 42 teeth. So I went to 16 tooth on the front and a 41 tooth on the rear. So I went up one from factory on the front and down one on the back from the factory. And uh, that way I could keep my overall, which I found perfect, wheelbase because uh, before when I put when I put a seven, I brought that in quite a bit. So you don't want to mess up your your uh, geometry on the on the way the bike's designed. You uh, unless it's got a little issue or something where you know some of the tweaking, getting the rear end out there on the travel for the swing arm is a must. Well, you know then that, that can vary. Uh, then you could uh, do something like a you know uh, go down a tooth. Uh, on the rear or down a tooth on the front and depending on what ratio you're shooting at uh, to get your axle out there or your get your swing arm uh, with a little more travel but anyway so I got a, a 16 on the front 41 on the rear and that gets me a ratio of a overall uh, 15 uh, almost a 15 14 90 six or 90 something like that might as well say 15 to one in other words 15 revelations to the motor to, to make one turn of the uh rear wheel versus the stock uh, stock the factory is 1638 i believe or 36 little you know not quite 16 and a half to one you might say uh spins with a motor to make the one wheel turn i mean the wheel <laughs> turn one revolution and but the thing is this thing set up on the i found it just a little little excessive when i hit the highway out here uh it's over six to one on six gear so that's you know that's spinning quite a bit and uh you know i don't have anything i mean it's <laughs> my dirt bike like almost a, like a 17 to one what kind of a dirt bike but then i found it a little excessive but this motor can ha handle it i mean you know it can really it, uh, it, you know, it can rev really good, so, you know, but it just seemed, uh, it just had a lot of vibration, a little, a little too much for me. And so what I did, I got the sweet spot here, I think. So now I'm about a 15 to one, and then it made my, drop my a six gear to a five and a half to one turn. So it's like I'm knocking off about a half a turn. Actually, it comes out 14, 40 i mean whew, i'm way off what am i trying it turns it from a six to one overall six gear to a five and a and 5.49 something like that uh almost a five and a half turns to one that the motor has to turn to make the rear wheel turn one time so it, it did pretty pretty decent so we're going to test this out and see what kind of what, what it uh what's how it's done just creeping around a little bit on the on the farm here so we're gonna uh i've got more footage coming for this uh but anyway we're going to stay with on the subject i tend to get off the subject quite a bit we're going to stay with the tuareg aprilia tuareg 660 is a 20, 2022 and uh um, I still recording yep still blinking okay so we are going to test this dude out and we'll see what the how it feels just putting around on the on the uh, farm back here 
and down the road it'll probably be be a little windy i think maybe today a little bit of wind noise so i won't say much i'll just zip down the road then come back in here and then uh, final thoughts on how it's going to do <laughs> that it's got uh, 240 millimeter front and rear travel and uh boy it is a big difference between riding this one and the uh, uh trans out so we're going to test this dude out I'm, as far as suspension goes, this is for off-road. Oh yeah, Transout's coming. I've already put an order in for the rear shock, and I'm going to try to find out what I need on the travel for the front. I don't know if I need to change it much on it, but let's stick, let's stick to the claw rag today, please. That's what we're talking about. How, what? What? The, so I'm in first, you know. I mean, it's gear pretty low. I mean, it's still, still gear pretty low, you know. I mean, you know, it does, it does make my uh, first gear a little bit taller, but not, not much. I mean, you know, I mean, it's still. That's another thing I wanted to do. I should have rode, rode around the, uh, here in the back lot to show you how well it pulls. But I could, well, a better test would be on the hill. How it, how it, if it's got that same tractoring. You know, without having to accelerate to keep your momentum or keep it from killing the motor, see how it pulls. It idles around 1400 RPMs, I believe. It idle. And, uh, and what I've noticed on the, on the Trillia, it doesn't like to die. That's a good thing. And, uh, even with the, even with the taller, gear that it has now but still you know it's a, it's 15 to 1 basically uh so close to the first gear of what's on the 890 i think the 890 is geared a little bit now a little bit shorter than uh yeah but it's overall, overall, overall sixth gear on the 890 Adventure is 517 to 1. Just a tad over 5 to 1. That's a sweet spot. That's 5 to 1, sixth gear on a mid-sized bike is good. Doesn't rev, it doesn't seem, it doesn't feel too tall or too short. I've noticed that on the 890. And, uh, but the Trans Alp, is 466 or 460 something to one it, it's like barely over i mean yeah barely over four and a half turns to one ratio on the in sixth gear overall and it still has a 15 to one on the first first gear and uh so it's the ratio the gearing on the trans up you just can't oh man it's it's set up perfect you can do so much on that back getting off the subject again back on the aprilia far egg wall of this like i mean this is sweet. i mean look, look at it look look we'll see how it pulls up this Oop, ah, i didn't want to go get cow crap and look look this is a pretty good little incline i'm pulling up it but i'm not touching this and that's so if you're thinking about Oh, the adverse effect that it has 
is not much and you know oh you know i got traction control completely off on this i keep it off of it especially now i've geared it up a little bit you know it's not you know and uh what i have found too uh you know uh yeah that has got a more heavy even when i had the factory sprocket on the thing and still gear low in the first place. but the uh this thing is still, well, you know, if you, you can get the front end up, still, you know, you, sometimes you clutch it, sometimes you get it and hit the sweet spot just right and still raise, bring the wheel off the ground in first gear. You'll still do a good little wheelie. But uh, when I had that 17, all oh, these leaves are a little slippery. <laughs> yeah, about that. But anyway, they can be. So, you know, I mean, look, look. Now, this is, yeah, this is really steep. I don't know if it's going to do this, but uh, hmm, so far, so good. Let me, let me see. Now, this is pretty steep. Look, look, look. What? I mean, see. Look. Now, I don't see anything wrong with that. And it does really good, you know. Now this is this is pretty pretty steep right here. And then, uh, oh, now this is kind of this has got some holes. It, it's got some divots. This is where I puttered around and dropped my bike the other day. Well, here a while back. Now this is going up. We're going to cut it. See how it tractors on up this look 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 now this is kind of steep and it's pulling it's pulling i'm kind of leaning forward to keep from sliding back a little bit so everybody know everybody that knows kentucky there's not a flat spot out here i mean you know you have to get up on top of a hill and uh you, you know see you know this is like this so and we just come right up this Again, that's a 16 tooth front sprocket I went to, and uh, so I went up one tooth on the front, ooh, and uh, yeah, one up, and then on the rear, one down. So that got me my ratio right there, and I, I can't find it any better than that. If I go one, one tooth difference, then it's not good, you know, it's just, it just affects my first gear a little bit more than I want, because I'm a little bit heavy. I mean, if a person was just keep it on the road all the time, well, this, you know, this suspension is, this suspension on this thing is really good. Go quick shifter, not the right with the clutch in. Here pretty short, so uh, that's a sweet spot. If you if you want to know, now we know how this is gonna how it works back here on the uh, farm and on, on the, you know, off road. Works pretty good. So we'll go down the road. I should have my gloves, but I don't like to ride without gloves on the road. Asphalt doesn't do these any good like a grinding wheel when you're sliding so I just stole a leg over I don't have the box on it back we find it easier to stand up on the pegs hate racking my knee on the back of that luggage rack right. now what I don't like is oh oh I forgot about that uh-uh mm. I had to take the uh, good thing I looked 
if I take this down the road, I'm going to take it out here. I'll just run it up the road. We'll show you the RPM doing about 60. I don't want to get too far away from home. I don't have a plate on here because I took the bracket off there to mount my plate, my temporary tag on my trans out. But anyway, oh, I wanted to hit the highway. <laughs> I wanted to hit 64, but you're not going to hear me anyway with all the wind noise, but we'll give it a try. We'll, we'll see what the RPMs are. Our RPM or the motor is on this uh, the main road out here. It's not the highway. It's not the main highway, but you know, it's a good little stretch. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm, I'm cutting around in a second here. <laughs> so if there's a que if there any questions about, you know, and then put it down first. I mean, look at that. It's, it's geared. And a lot of bikes are around 15 to 1. So why do you need 16 and a half, almost 16 and a half to 1? But again, that's why everybody probably loves that... Uh, loves the T7. It's got almost a 17 to 1 ratio in first gear. So on. So and that's kind of strange. A lot of people say this feels more powerful than the T7 and yet the T7's got a lower first gear. Hmm. So I must have more power than the T7. I thought they were the same but then when you think about it uh, yeah, they, they got more, it's got more power than the T, power than the T7. I love those John Paul T7s. Man, those, those, you know, there was one around here that I threw with my leg over, and I probably would have done bought it first, but let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm too much chatting, I'm not, I'm riding. So I want to keep quiet for a little bit. And, uh, we'll pay attention to what the... RPMs are and uh, top gear. Well, I got a tractor up here. I'll, uh, I'll keep quiet.
Always good. like about 74, 75 miles per hour at 5,000 at 5, RPMs. I mean, you know, watch my head. So, still recording. I hope that it showed up on there. So back to this. So what I'm saying is that's about as good as it gets on this one. Yeah. Traction control disabled. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not 160 horsepower. Yeah. You know, or 105, even that. I don't know why did he make it 90 here why did we get to 83 or 4 whatever it is but i can tell the difference this is it's more potent than this but this is pipey yeah and uh you know you're away because <laughs> it is and anyway uh so this hits about 74 75 miles per hour about 5,000 rpms 
and you saw the other one, I wasn't doing like 4,000, 4, I was doing like 60, oh, I forgot what it was, 61 or two or something, I forgot. So, you know, around 64 and, uh, and 74, 75 at five. And, uh, and it still has good roll on pull and six gear. Uh, actually, this has better roll on six than this. It's trans out. I hate to say that. And this is a 660. Uh, well, you know, but then again, it's uh, five, uh, about five and a half to one on the uh, sixth overall gear versus about a little over four and a half to one six gear. So this can, I'm getting off subject again. One tooth on this, that thing would be a weapon an off-road weapon and still be fine on the highway because you know it, it would just it's already geared pretty tall it's a pretty wide ratio you know it's pretty wide stretch stretch out i think all adventure bikes need to be like that anyway and i wish this one had a taller six gear but then again you know there's a lot less a lot less of this a lot oh well you got uh quick shifter a lot less less shifting you know working the 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 shift lever, you know, that's that, you know, that's look at the positive side. If you're, you know, don't mind stretching its uh, legs a little bit out on the highway, on the freeway, you know, because when you're uh, doing eighty, you know, I, I'm I just feel like I was doing eighty or something like that, and it was I was constantly blinking in the rev limiter. But th this thing set up like six thousand RPMs. I I can change that, you know. But I constantly see that, you know, I haven't ever changed it. I guess because I wanted to keep it under six grand. I don't want to, I have you know, naturally I've been over it a few times. But, you know, I just like to, you know, it's a warning. Like, you know, just, it's not, uh, when I sell this, nobody's going to get anything that's uh, been mistreated. No way. None of my bikes are mistreated. Hmm, maybe over there. A little, well, no, that's, uh, but anyway, this is uh, where I'm at on the gearing on this Touareg, Aprilia Touareg 660. And uh, I found a sweet spot. I really did. I, let me turn this off. But so, you know, if anybody wants, has any questions uh, yeah, <clears throat> on the uh, Touareg, you can ask me below, below the comment section. And yeah, then I got an arrow. That's the best. Yeah, a little getting warm, but not too bad. That's a nice. That's I love the way that cackles. Oh man, don't do what I did. But anyway, you want my license number? <laughs> that's for sure. You want them. And uh, well, this is great. That's the best uh, thing I've done to it. These, these two things are was a must. Uh, and uh, this right here, this is about like four or five pounds lighter than the, fi the factory one. And it, uh, a lot torquey, really, I mean, helped the end, uh, helped help the, the overall performance of it. But, plus, it did a Gabrio, the Gabrio? Uh, anyway, a tune on this. And I got a DNA air filter, so that's why you hear a lot more raw, that nice throaty sound. So, uh, there's my Aprilia Touareg with the gearing, 16 tooth on the front, 41 on the rear. One off the rear, one more on on the front. The sweet spot for the Aprilia Touareg 660 I have found on and off the road. So gets rid of a lot less vibration through there at certain speeds, you know where it tones the motor down, the revs down a little bit. And there you have it, Aprilia Touareg 660 with the uh, gearing of uh, the sprockets. And I hope you like this video. And if it benefits you, that's, that's a good thing. And, uh, oh yeah, my sprockets I got from the AF1 Racing. And I think it's Austin, Texas. I had them shipped up here. And, you know, they're pretty quick. I mean, I got my stuff right away. Uh, they m mostly have everything in stock for these Aprilias, the Touaregs. Or if you like uh, more oriented 660s, the RS or the Tuano. 
But this is the Tuareg, and this is a great bike. This is a great bike. I keep thinking, I need to sell it. But that's my problem. I'm getting too attached to all of them. But, um, yeah, I think my son will be riding this pretty soon. He's already got a, <laughs> legs as long as me, and he's only 13. Huh? But that's a, that's a nice bike, uh, and the gearing worked out great. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and like and subscribe if you want to. That helps you in any way. I do appreciate this uh, content that I can give you.